Hi everyone, uh, today I'll be showing you how to do data analysis through the use of the DHS2, especially the data visualizer. So in this class, I'll be able to take you through how to use the Sierra Leone instance and uh, I'll show you how we can create an account, a free account on the Sierra Leone instance and then we'll be able to learn on how to use it. So if you want to uh, use the Sierra Leone DHS2 instance, the first thing that you do, you go to your search on Google and then you search DHIS2 play like this and then press enter. And then after pressing DHIS2 play, you select the first link, this one, tap on DHIS2 play. And then it will open up various uh, uh, versions of the DHS2. Uh, but for the, today's class, we'll be interested with the version 2.38, which is more of a stable version. And then it has a lot of data in it. So I'll click on 2.38. And then on this page, I'll be able to uh, create an account. I'll just come over here. You can create an account on your top uh, right mm -hmm. corner or over here. So I'll create an account. I'll enter first name. I'll say John Doe. Uh, first name is uh, sorry, John Doe. And then username, I can say John Doe. Small all. And then here you can say you can enter my password, a very strong password. Remember to uh, consider using uppercase, lowercase, and special cases. Uh, another key, uppercase, lowercase, and special character. And uh, remember just a minute. Three space. have a strong password and then enter your email okay and then phone number you can enter your phone number employee you can say maybe you're working in a certain organization and then create an account and then it will create an account for you a free version account and here the first thing that you see is the dashboard and it has a lot of things this one is a dashboard and a lot of users have dashboards over here you can see they've created a case malaria dashboard that is being shared across the accounts so basically we'll just go to the data visualizer we'll go to the menu and then within the menu have the right as a data visualizer so i'll click on data visualization okay so on the data visualization, this is the application. You can either search it here on the menu. You can look for it, data visualizer, and then click on it, and then it will open. So within the data, uh, within the data visualizer, for you to do the data analysis, there are some of the core things that you really have to know, such as the three dimensions of the DHS2. And one of the dimension of the DHS2 is the what? What are you collecting? The what can be the data elements that you're interested in that data that you're interested in. The data elements are more of the characteristics of the data or the data set or an indicator depending on whatever you want, okay? That's the first W, the what. And then the second W is the when. When is the period? When, what is the period that you're reporting this data for? And then the third one is the where, the organization unit where you're reporting your data from, okay? Those are the three Ws which are important whenever we are collecting or whenever we are using the DHS to always remember about them. So basically the first thing that I'll do, I'll start focusing on the three W. The first one I'll come on the data. And under the data, let's say we are doing an analysis of NC, uh, maybe NC first visit, second visit, third visit, and NC fourth visit or more. So for you to select this NC, all of them, this is how you do it. You can, uh, you come to the NC that you want. I've searched over here, NC, the keyword, and then I can see over here, I have NC first visit. So if I want you to move to the right side, I can double click on the first, the NC first visit. And then you can see it has gone to the other side. So uh, for the second one, NC second visit, if I want you to move to the, uh, the right side i can click on it once and you can see it becomes it is highlighted and then i can use this arrow this one uh, the arrow that points to the right the single arrow this one 
this one i can click on it and then it is taken to the right side i can do the same click on that or i can select double elements can uh, i can click on one like for example let's see third visit and then uh, press on control key and then also click on nc fourth visit like that so both of the two are highlighted and then i can click on this arrow and then everything is taken to the right side so if i want to remove all these let's say i don't want all these on this other side i can just uh, i can what well, the first method is uh, i can click this arrow the arrow that points to the right the double arrow that points to the left sorry the double arrow that points to the left and then everything will be removed so let me take them back so that you can see i'll use the control select and then push them over here so another method of removing them from this other side i can double tap on it one double tap double click on it and then it gets a uh, return to the left side like that one or i can con click on the first one and then press control and then click on the second one and then all of it will be taken back so let me take let me select them these are the three the four indicators the four data elements that i'm interested in so i've selected the first w what is which is the what and then i'll click the height and then i'll select the second w the period so within the dhs2 we have two types of period for example uh the first type of period is the relative period relative period it is a period that is related to day for example if i ask you two days ago you will say that uh, two days ago from today wednesday two days ago will be on monday so let's say we're on friday and then i ask you two days ago it will be on wednesday so you start counting from the period that you are currently that's the first type of uh, period so here we can have the period which is relative and then we have a period type by months so basically it displays the months and then the second one you can maybe click on the period type select maybe by days it will sh show last three days last seven days 14 etc and many more and or maybe something like uh, by weeks it can show this by week like that or even years and maybe this year last year five years etc and then another period type that we have within the dhs2 is the fixed period a fixed period it is a period type that is specific to a certain timeline for example you can say 1990 there's a fixed period within the 1990 it is not related to today for example here monthly you can say Jan may 2022 or any other so within the dhs2 we're able to change the years so you can use this up arrow to maybe move to tw the next year or this down arrow to move to the other years or you can highlight it and then say maybe 1990 type it like that and you'll see over here it is it has changed but basically over here it is showing in months so what if i want it to show in years i'll just come to the period type click on yearly like that so it will be able to show for the years that i've stipulated over here the last 10 years backwards 1990 backwards so if i want to maybe show the years that we are so i'll just say 2022 and then it will show the last 10 years from 2022 okay so those are the two types of period and we do the same thing we select them if you need to select them to uh to select this period you can double tap on them or you can click on that and then press control click on the next one press uh, hold on the control click on that one and then move them like that if i want to remove them i can use this arrow and then everything will be removed so for now let's use the fixed period and for the fixed period i'll use the months and then let's do an analysis for the last six months and then i'll come here on the last six months i can double click on it and then it will move to the selected period that's the when and then i'll hide it and then the next one is the organization unit where the where so the where is usually the organization unit so i'll click on the organization unit so by default you'll find that uh uh the user organization unit is selected and you can't edit all these other ones and you can see it is showing a question mark that i can't edit a stop mark so for me to be able to edit this i have to come over here and organization unit the one that is selected and then unselect it and click the checkbox okay you can see the checkbox is clicked i can't select this one so whatever i do i uncheck them so let's say we are doing an analysis for the uh sierra leone as a whole country so i'll come here and check sierra leone and then that's the last uh w i'll click on update 
and then you can see I'm having my nice visualization over here. Uh, it has plotted the graph nicely. You can see uh, this one, the first one is the N NC first visit and it has been given a color code down here. And then the second one is NC second visit and you can see the color. And then the third one is NC third visit and then the lastly NC fourth visit and more. Okay, so here is our visualization, which is in form of a column chart. So what if I want to change this visualization? I don't want a column chart. You can click on the top left corner over here. We have the column. Click on the drop down arrow and then you can send select. Maybe I want a stacked mm -hmm. column. Click on it and then click update. So you can see it has shown a stacked column. And then I can add, maybe use another one bar. Click on the bar. You can see here we have the bar. Click on it. Click update. And then that's a nice one. And then maybe a line, I can click on the line and then click update. And then you can see we're having some nice line graphs. And then another one is area. You can click on the area and then use this update. And then it will update the visualization web. So maybe for now we can use the column and then I'll click on update like that. This one is our nice visualization. So the next thing that you're supposed to do, we need to save this visualization, give it a name. So I'll come to file and then uh, click on save and then give it a name and then say maybe something like column, uh, uh, column, 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 uh, maybe NT visit. NT visit uh, uh, Sierra Leone like that and then maybe for the uh six months last six months and then we can write a description uh the visualization uh it shows the nc visits in the last six months and then click on save and then your visualization will be saved nicely so next uh, under file we can maybe uh, maybe do a different thing you can uh, rename it for example you need to change it you can come over here and then rename your file change whatever you want and then click on cancel if you or save if you want and then also you can share this visualization you can delete etc and many more okay so if you made any change remember to save it like that so the next thing is uh, uh we have the options under the options we can draw various trend line on this visualization so i'll come over here and then click on trend line and then maybe it can have a linear trend line or a polymo uh, polynomial trend line or low SS trend line so for example let's say you need a linear i'll click on linear like that it will be selected and then click on update and then you'll see uh, we are having some linear trend lines over there maybe you want another trend line i'll come over here lines and then click on poly polynomials and then select it and then click on update and then you can see we're having a very nice polynomials uh trend line and then another one i can have maybe uh low ss trend line i'll come over here click on low ss and then click on update and you can see the very nice low ss trend lines that we have within our chart and then maybe you can have something like uh, uh maybe you can draw a target line or a baseline within your uh, uh let's say we draw a target line of maybe uh something like uh 23 and then uh, and then a baseline of maybe something like uh, uh, maybe 10 or 11 and then click on update and then you can see we have one over here but it is not that smart so we can change it 23 is kind of low or maybe 20 No, 20,000. So, Ray, it's supposed to be in thousands. Okay, 20,000, 23,000, and then 20,000.
yes you can see we're having our trend lines the two trend lines over here so the twenty thousand is kind of high let me take it slow a bit down a bit so it can have maybe something like ten thousand like that and then you'll see yeah nice so here's our trend line our base target this one is a target line and then this one is a baseline that you're having so we have a lot of options over here within the uh uh options we have a lot of them over here and then another thing that i'll show you is on the style i'll show you how we can add a title to this but for now i don't need a trend line i don't need a target line and a business i'll remove it you'll just check the box or uncheck the box okay and then i'll come to style if i need to add my titles so for the style you find that uh you'll find the titles and you find that it has been automatically it, the system by defaults checks the automated auto auto generated so i need to customize my title i'll come to custom and then i'll say maybe something like nc visits and then uh, size i can say regular position i can say center and then maybe i can say bold even the color you can change you can say maybe it is blue something like that okay and then uh, uh, subtitle you can come and say maybe you can custom and still the same here you can say uh, Sierra Leone Sierra Leone like that maybe say bold and italics or let's say italics okay and then you can change the color set of the bar graphs that you want but for now I like it like that so I'll click on update and then you can see here we have NC visit and then the subtitle is Sierra Leone and then uh, uh, we can have uh, that's how we come up with the titles and then another thing is we can have uh, we can indicate a y axis we can name our axes uh, uh, here so the next one is uh, you, if you need to indicate your axis or uh, both the y and x you go to axes and then we'll start with the y and then we'll say custom and then we'll add a title for the y axis we can say something like nc visits can say visit okay and then we'll go to the horizontal the x-axis i'll say maybe epidemiological week epidemiological week like that and then i'll click on update so you can see we're having our y-axis and then our x-axis over here if you want them to be in bold you come to options axis and then here you change it to bold and then here for the horizontal you click on horizontal you change it to bold too and then click on update and you can see we have our visits both on side on both sides so this is how we create it if i like whatever i've done i'll come to my graph and then i'll uh, maybe click on save okay like that so this is the epidemiological trend or the nc visits that we have in sierra leone this one is more of the basic so if you're interested on in this data if you need to use it you can come on download and then maybe download it in form of an image or pdf or you can download in form of a plain data let's say we want to download it in form of a plain data we'll come to excel and then i'll determine the metadata that i want do i want to build this data in form of their unique identifiers or in form of the name so i'll come and select maybe the name and then it will be downloaded down there on your browser i think that's all about the basics of uh, doing analysis on the uh in the dhs2 through the use of the data visualizer maybe in the next time in the next session i'll teach you how to advance in data visualization and to do more things that are more easier or and more interesting and it will assist you to analyze your data if you have any question feel free to comment and i'll be able to respond to it thank you